Hi there. And today we're going to be answering actual one question that was posed in a comment to how to delete the pieces on the outside of a fracture. So we have our basic setup here with a box, a ISO offset and scatter node. So you, you can see we put an explode view here. And uh, we can easily see we have the pieces inside that look like rocks, but also we have the outside that has very flat, of course they have this flat look because they were part of a surface outside. So how can delete it? So if you note here, we, uh, each piece it's, uh, has this group and it's called a name, and it also has a group for the inside and outside. So if you would try just to put a delete or blast, uh, we're going to note that it's going to delete the outside group, but it will be the outside uh, geometry or the primitives. So you end up with this little shell of the remain that is actually is part of the in inside uh, inside pieces. So the way the trick to go through it is create a loop for each primitive, and I'm going to use the name attribute to go through each one of those. See, they just put a name. And now we can try to find which pieces has on this attribute, or outside attribute, has a value of 1. So you can see inside and outside has Zero one, so that means belongs. It does has one primitive that has that primitive has is part of that group. So if we drop here a wrangle node, and we can run through each primitive, we could choose here run for primitives. And now the first thing is create a condition. If something happens, or if we find that it has an outside group, so you put the if as a conditional, and now let's put the condition there is we're going to find a group of this primitive. So the primitive group, and uh, we're looking of course for the first input, so a geo self there. And what we want to find is if there is a group or get the value of the group of the outside, because it's the one that we want to delete if we find it. So I'll just put the outside and the uh, condition is equal, equal it's if this is greater than zero. So that means the piece has a primitive in this group. So what we want this to happen. So when you find that this piece has a geometry or a primitive on that group, we want to remove the whole thing altogether. So just put remove primitive from the first input and we want to remove th that number of the primitive that's coming in. So it would be at prenum. And that should work. Hopefully, let's go and, uh, and check it out. Uh, I'm going to put that expression, that facts expression down on a comment, so it's easy to cop and see. And voila, now we only have the geometries that belong on to the center, there is no face that belongs for the outside of the original uh, object. So here you go, you can use this as a rock or anything that please your heart. Well, thank, thanks again for watching.